Today on Mina Studio, a free and semi-simple way to get lyrics displayed on the bottom of your church services in OBS. Welcome to Mina Studio. My name is Nathan. With me as always is my tech director, Ronald. This video is his idea, by the way. So today I want to talk about getting lyrics on the bottom of your church services when you're using OBS. As people are learning to produce uh, online church services on the fly now, I've heard a lot of issues about getting lyrics on the bottom of your services, uh, especially in OBS. And the reason for that is there's not a good way to do so in OBS itself. I know many churches are using ProPresenter and NDI. So they're taking their ProPresenter output, often their confidence monitor output, and sending it through NDI to OBS, and then OBS can display it on the bottom. And that's a really good solution, and it works really well. It is, however, kind of complicated, and of course expensive because you have to own ProPresenter. So today I want to show you an alternative to that that is free and reasonably simple using OBS and Google Slides. Okay, here we are in OBS. We have our worship scene here. Uh, we have our camera already in, and now we want to have lyrics on the bottom so that when our band or our musicians playing the worship songs, people at home can sing along. So we're gonna use a window capture source to bring in Google Slides to OBS, and we will be able to do transparent lyrics or lyrics with a background. I'll show you how to do both of those. And obviously you can only do this if you're running Google Slides on the same computer that you're running OBS on because we're capturing a window on that computer. Uh, you'll need two monitors too, obviously, or more, three, four. More monitors are always good. If you have your lyrics on a separate computer, then this solution won't necessarily work for you. You'd have to use something like ProPresenter with an NDI uh, coming into OBS. Now let's go over to Google Slides and actually create and format our presentation so it'll show up at the bottom of OBS. First thing we want to do is create just a single slide that's uh, formatted like we want it to be, and then we can duplicate it and add all our lyrics in. Basically, this is our template slide. So I'm going to bring the lyrics down a little bit, put them on single lines. All right. I'm going to drag that box and drag the whole lyrics down to the bottom where I want them. As you're doing this, you can picture your video behind this um, so you can get an idea where you want your lyrics. All right, that looks pretty good. Uh, just as a tip, usually a bolder font is better, especially when you're doing transparency because um, it's harder to see text when it's transparent than on its own background. So let's go something like that. That looks pretty good. So now we'll just duplicate that slide. So all of our slides have the exact same formatting. That's important because we're gonna crop uh, in OBS later and anything that's out of this little box we want it will be off of the screen. All right, so we'll just duplicate that a whole bunch of times. Then you can add in your lyrics. I have my own lyric sheet here I could use. So just copy from that, drop into here and you want to paste without formatting, paste without formatting or command shift V if you like keyboard shortcuts. And that way it'll keep the exact same formatting. You won't have to worry about it being off the screen. Honestly, if you have the lyrics ready, it really doesn't take that long. You could probably do a whole slide presentation in less than a half hour. All right, so we've got our slides how we want them. Um, if we want non-transparent lyrics, or in other words, we want a background behind the lyrics on the bottom of the screen, then we can just leave it like this. Uh, black background or dark gray background like this looks really good. If you want transparent lyrics, then we're gonna change all the backgrounds to green. Because Google Slides can't actually send a transparent slideshow to OBS, we're gonna use OBS's green screen function to make it transparent. What you'll do is you just highlight all of them, go up to background, click on color, and then you want this top green right here. I'm fairly certain all Google Slides will have the same colors. So it's this top green right here. That's kind of the standard, pure, all the way up in the corner uh, green that you'll use for your green screen. Now let's go back over to OBS and get these lyrics into our service. 
All right, we are back in OBS. We're on our worship scene. We've already got our camera in our scene. Now let's add our lyrics. So we need to add a source and add window capture. So add window capture. We can title it lyrics if we want. Okay. Then choose which window you want. There's a lot of windows open here. Uh, here's my Google Slides. All right, so okay, we're good there. And here's our Google Slides window. Obviously, this is not what we want in our worship service. So let's fix that. First, let's uh, kind of drag it out so it's full screen. There we go. Now we're going to go over to our Google Slides uh, window and present. All right, so now on our other monitor, we have a full screen Google Slides presentation that we're bringing into OBS. So to crop, you right click, go to Transform edit transform and then here on the bottom is the cropping we're gonna guess uh, 800 on the top and probably 50 on the bottom that's uh, amazingly perfect all right <laughs> there we go so now we'll drag that down to the bottom center it and we have lyrics on the bottom of our screen so if we click back over on our Google Slides window on the other monitor, I can just click my right and left arrows on my keyboard and I have lyrics. Now, if we want transparent lyrics, there's another step. So first of all, we need to make sure that our Google Slides backgrounds were bright green, just like that. This is for transparent lyrics. And then we're gonna add a filter to this window capture source. So go to your window capture source, I've named it lyrics right click filters then down here on effects filters add then you want chroma key chroma key okay and there we go you can see the key color type here is green so it knows it needs to take the green out of the window and since we selected that um that stock green on google slides it's matching the exact green that uh, obs is using as well and then you can adjust if it doesn't look right you can see maybe it's a little um, scratchy or pixelated you can adjust this and that'll take the green in and out you can get that where you want it same thing with smoothness adjust that where you want it color spill reduction same thing you can change opacity too if you want to now we have transparent lyrics so again I just click the up oh, got to click over on my window click right and left here got transparent lyrics on the bottom of the screen now another thing you might want to do is the extra step if you want you might want some sort of like semi transparent black um, fade behind this so that the the white white words don't get lost if you want to do that you just need to bring in a color source like this add a color source then add black like so then you want to do the same thing you want to crop that down like we did our Google Slides. Put it to the bottom. Then we drag it in our sources window behind lyrics. We right click on our color source. We're going to add a filter. Add color correction. And opacity is there at the bottom. You can adjust that opacity behind your lyrics however you'd like let's go 30. now we've added a little darkness beyond our lyrics just in case there's any bright white things in the actual worship video that your lyrics don't get lost all right there we go we've got our lyrics at the bottom of our screen and we just scroll with our arrows on our keyboard it was free fairly simple um, it's not perfect one issue to be aware of is that you'll need to be clicked on the google slides window to be able to change the lyrics. So if you come over and adjust something in OBS uh, in the middle of your service, you have to then go over and click back on your Google Slides window to be able to change your slides. So for instance, if right now I click on something on OBS, then I try to change my slides on my keyboard. Ah, oh, I can't change the slides because I have to go back over and click on my Google Slides window. Now I can change the slides because your keyboard commands will only work with 
whatever window is selected on your computer. So that's something to be very aware of and I can see causing some volunteer to freak out in the middle of the service when they can no longer change the slides. So that's one issue with it, but as long as you're careful, um, shouldn't be a huge deal. Okay, so there is your Google Slides OBS lyrics in the lower thirds hack. Hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions about it, just let me know in the comments. Uh, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you back here next week.